our story will continue in a few seconds. And now, if we want the author of the channel not to be sad, let's support him by putting like under this video. And he will release for you as many cool stories as possible. Kyle, something super weird is going on. What? My aunt and uncle, the one who took me from the orphanage, brought me my stuff so I can check what I need and what we should throw away. And? That's not weird. I just took my books and the t-shirt that you gave me for my birthday. Okay, so what's going on? What's going on is that I gave everything else to my aunt and told her that she could throw it away and she left. But then she came back and gave me this weird stuffed bunny. What bunny? No idea, she told me that it's my Mr. Hop and that the headmaster of the orphanage gave it to her when we were packing my stuff and told her that I couldn't sleep without it. I don't remember you having a stuffed bunny. Because I didn't have one, dude. The headmaster messed something up. And now this Mr. Hop is in my room. Check it out, it's so random. Yikes! Yeah, I'd remember a bunny this ugly. I'm gonna try to throw it away tomorrow without them noticing. And do you like living with your aunt and uncle? Why didn't they adopt you earlier? So it turns out that my mom didn't talk to her family for many years, and no one even knew she had a kid. And when I got to the orphanage, some family members randomly found out about me and that my mom died and that I was in the orphanage. Alright, so you like it there? They got a nice house, it's chill here. They seem nice too. But the bed they got for me is a little small. They thought I was younger. Speaking of the headmaster again. Maybe she just messed something up? Maybe you should give it back to her. Nah, dude. I'm sure she did it on purpose. She hated me. She told me herself. She'd show all other kids when someone wanted to adopt and would never show me. You're right. I just remember that when we were meeting potential parents, you wouldn't even be allowed to come out of your room. And when my parents wanted to adopt another kid, and I mentioned you, the headmaster said that you didn't want to live with the family. It's not true! Why did she hate you like that? No idea. Maybe because I was the only one who stood up to her. Once we had these journalists come. They were writing a story about our orphanage, and she told us to tell them that everything was great and we loved it there. And I said that the food was terrible. No way! Yeah. She made me stand in a corner for the entire night and told me that she'd never forgive me. Dang! Yep. So I'm sure that this bunny was not an accident. I'm gonna throw it away tomorrow. Alright, I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night, bro. Dude, remember that you now have a family and can forget about this headmaster. I hope I won't remember her soon. Kyle, are you awake? 
Yeah, my dad and I are watching Walking Dead. What's up? Dude, you won't believe this, but this loud noise just came from my aunt and uncle's room. Like a closet fell down or maybe they were attacked. Maybe they are fighting. I don't think so. Maybe I should go check if they are okay? Yeah. Alright. Also, dude, it's so weird that the bunny disappeared. Maybe your aunt and uncle got it while you were sleeping. I couldn't really fall asleep. I heard someone's footsteps, but thought it was my uncle or aunt. Alright, I'm at their door, knocking. They're not opening up. Do you think I can go inside? Well, you're not really respecting their privacy, but you heard a weird noise, so I think yeah. Alright. No one's here. Wow! Dude, it's such a mess here! Look! Wow, and they're not there? Nope. Let me go downstairs, maybe they're in the kitchen. Dude, be careful. What if there are robbers inside your house? They're not downstairs either. It's super weird. Hold on, I can hear footsteps upstairs. And they're super loud. Call the police and get out of there, dude. I took a baseball bat my uncle got me and went upstairs. I don't care what it is. I won't let them destroy my family. So? Who is there? I'm in my uncle and aunt's room. Inside. What's there? Dang! What? It's not their room. Whose room is it? Dude, I walked into their room, but I'm in a completely different room right now. I couldn't make a mistake. There are only two rooms upstairs, mine and theirs. What is this room like? The wallpaper is super old, and it smells old. It looks like it belongs to an old mansion. Weird. And what if you go back through the door? Are you gonna go back to your house? Let me try. Yeah, I'm back in my house. So try to find your fam and get out of there, dude. There are so many doors and rooms that got out of that one room. I need to mark that door somehow. Put your sock on the doorknob. Awesome idea. Done. Alright, I'm gonna go see what's inside these rooms. Do you see anything strange? I can hear someone's super loud footsteps. Who do you think it can be? Maybe your uncle or aunt. No, it's that disgusting bunny. He is here and he is alive. What, dude? Yeah, bro. This bunny is giant now. He is like at least eight feet tall. He just bent down to walk into the room that I'm in. He is reaching his arm to me. Look! Dang! He's giant! 
His fingers are super sharp. I think he's the one who left that mark in the aunt and uncle's room. Maybe, but that doesn't matter now. You get to run. Running? Go back to the door. I need to find my aunt and uncle. I'm not gonna leave without them. Dude, I don't think you're gonna find them. This bunny is running after me. He can take these huge steps. Dang! What? I ran into the room and it only has one exit. And Mr. Hop is blocking it. He's inside the room and is making these happy sounds. Like I'm not a human, but a carrot. Maybe he doesn't want to attack you. Maybe you should play with him. He is a toy after all. Dude, this toy just stretched his arm out and is scratching the wall with his nails so hard that parts of it are falling off. He just got on all fours and I think he's gonna jump. His teeth are insane. Look. Dang, you're in trouble, bro. Mars, try to go around him. Sophia saved me. I'm alive. Who is Sophia? Dude, I was standing with my eyes closed waiting for the bunny to attack me. And then this secret door opens and this girl runs out. She's like 10 years old. She dragged me inside the secret door and closed it. The bunny is hitting it with his head. Who is this Sophia? What is she doing there? Where did she come from? Dude, this is crazy. Turns out there are different toys that are not actually toys. They are monsters. And they're waiting to be given to kids as presents. And then they take over their souls or something like that. Did Sophia tell you this? Yeah. Someone gave her a tiger as a gift, and she ended up in this house and can't get out of it for many years already. Hold on, but you said she's 10 years old. When did she get there? When she was 10 and the time stopped for her, she is not growing. She says she can't find the door that used to go inside. Has she seen your aunt and uncle? No, but she said that they're definitely not alive anymore. So there is also a tiger there. Yeah, but she learned how to hide from him. I told her that I know how to get out because I marked the door with a sock. And she's saying we should run there and get out. And I'm scared, dude. Listen to her and run, bro. All right, we came out of hiding. The monsters are not here yet. But they're nearby for sure. Listen. Kids, play with us. Play with us, kids. Kids, play with us. Dang. You guys gotta run! Easy for you to say. The tiger and Mr. Hop are here! How are you gonna get through them? Gee, they're coming closer to us. I'm getting scared. 
What's the girl saying? She started to dance. She's dancing in front of them and screaming, let's play. They heard her and are standing still. I don't think they know what to do. You gotta dance too. She took the tiger's bow and is dancing with him. And I took Mr. Hop and we are dancing closer and closer to the door with my sock. We are almost there. Open the door and run. It doesn't open. It's locked. The sock is here, it's the right door, but it's locked. Dang! Try to break it! I think Mr. Hop realized we want to escape. His neck became longer and his eyes are super red and he's angry. He hit me! No way! He hit me with his bow! I got down but he still hit me and threw him into a wall. And the girl? She's trying to show me something, that I need to look better at the bunny. Why? What does she want you to see? Dang! There are keys coming out of his pocket. Can you get them out? Sophie is telling me to distract him. I'm dancing again. But he's not getting distracted. But the tiger is dumb. He started dancing with me right away. I guess Mr. Hop is smarter. He just got down to all fours again. He's gonna jump. Try to kick the door. Mars! Kyle, we're out. Yay! How did you do it? The bunny was going to jump on me. And while he was focusing on that, Sophia managed to get the keys and we kept running from him. But eventually managed to open the door. And Mr. Hop and the tiger? They are inside. They keep trying to break the door, but Sophia says they won't be able to get out. Now you need to figure out how to find her parents. Yeah, we're gonna find them. And we also need to call someone and explain that my aunt and uncle are gone. Let me know how it goes, dude. Dude, do you know why the headmaster sent me this bunny? Why? Because she's Sophia's mother. What? Yep. Sophia showed me a picture of her mother. She had it in her necklace, and it's definitely our headmaster. So she sent you there on purpose so you could find her daughter? I think so. But there is more. What, dude? My aunt and uncle are alive. They didn't disappear. They just decided to go to the store to buy me a new bed. And when they came back, they found their room totally destroyed. And I'm standing here beat up and scratched up with some random girl. But at least you're all alive. Hey, I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like. The more likes we get on this video, the faster we will upload the next part. And also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Chat. And don't forget to smash that notification bell, so you don't miss any of our next videos. See you later. Bye.